Hey everybody, this is Rod Meldrum, the Book of Mormon Evidence Guy, inviting you to join me in our exciting new podcast where we're faithfully exploring relevant LDS topics of our time. We have uh, had many questions about uh, what has happened to me? <laughs> where, where did I go? Did I take some kind of a hiatus? Or I, I kind of disappeared for a while. So I thought I'd better answer that really quickly. Uh, questions about my absence, and it has to do with my old home in Provo, which uh, when we were doing the podcast before, we were in a little bedroom that was like 10 feet by 12 feet. We could barely get in, in there, and, and two people was just crowded. Um, we had other other things. We wanted to kind of get out of the out of Provo, the city. We were kind of downtown area. We wanted to move basically out in the country. I grew up out in the out in the country, and I wanted to move kind of back to that. So we ended up buying a new property um, down south of Provo in that place uh, called San Pete County, and actually between uh, Fairview and and uh, Mount Pleasant, Utah. And we bought this this property. Um, decided that uh, if we sold our house in Provo, we could actually moved down here and uh, and it's been it's been fantastic but it's been a lot of a lot of work too i ended up uh, doing the construction on my home uh doing the, the from the design work and everything to actual the physical construction of it i uh, had to move our family a couple times my wife went to help her parents out down in the in, in moab utah and i i ended up living in an rv <laughs> for for the last couple of years so it's pretty hard to do the, the podcast from an rv but, uh, but we also had uh, amazing friends that let me, uh, I couldn't, couldn't do the RV all, all winter long. So we had friends here in the San Pete area, uh, shout out to them uh, for letting me stay with them um, and over the winter time, the winter months and so forth. And so we finally got uh, moved into our new home just a few months ago. And I just want to tell you that just, just some of the quick recent events, there's been a lot of great things that have been happening in the Heartland uh, um, genre of, of the Book of Mormon geography. We've had uh, amazing things like the, uh, the the Sound of Freedom film that went, uh, that went, you know, the, 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 the number one film of the summer, of the whole summer and so forth. We've had uh, the Oath movie that just came out recently. Uh, we've been involved with, with our, our expos and our tours and all kinds of uh, other projects going on. We got the Phoenicia expedition that we're doing, putting the, the Phoenicia ship back together. So we've been busy. I haven't been completely out of the out of the, uh, the, 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 the work that we've been doing. But, um, but, we, but I, I tell you what though, my friends, I am so excited to get back to work doing what I really love, which is Book of Mormon geography research. So, uh, so in doing that, we have uh, certain dis topics that we talk about. You know, we, we, uh, I mentioned before that our mantra is faithfully exploring relevant LDS topics of our time. So uh, what are these topics that we're talking about then? For those of you who are just joining us uh, just now, this, it's obviously the Book of Mormon. We talk about church history. We talk about signs of the times and world events. We talk about science and religion and self-reliance and health and wellness and even uh, constitutional studies. Those are kind of our focus areas that we're going to be talking about throughout this year. So, uh, so everybody wants to know, so what's the plans for 2024? <laughs> well, let me, let me tell you about it. Okay, so uh, as you may remember, about four years ago, we did numerous interviews following the Come Follow Me program of the church, which we put up on our, on our YouTube channel, and it was called Come Follow Me 2020. Well, obviously, that doesn't work for 2024, so we had to move all of our previous content over to the main YouTube channel called BookOfMormonEvidence.org, and when we did, unfortunately, we lost over 3 million views, so it's kind of like we're starting over again. So we're relaunching our Come Follow Me series, which includes incredible interviews with numerous thought leaders and scholars. And I really would like to encourage you to watch our interviews on YouTube channel at bookofmormonevidence.org uh, each week as we come up with new information, but also the, the, to look at the, the previous ones that we have done. We're gonna be lining those up with the, uh, with the chronological uh, order of the, of the Come Follow Me program of the church. So hit subscribe below so now, right now so you don't forget. Don't forget. Just, just go ahead right now and just do that. <laughs> okay. Uh, but what I'm most excited about is the, is the amazing interviews that we're about to, to happen, that we're scheduling right now for this year. But unlike previous years, we're going to stay focused on the Book of Mormon and the, the topics that we, that we do and give additional supplemental information beyond what we've discussed previously. So I'm excited about, about that. We're not going to be following directly 
the chronology of the of the uh, of the Come Follow Me program, but you're going to have awesome information. You're going to be able to to utilize it each week as we as you go through that. So we encourage you to actually go through the lesson manual of the church and 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 do that. Go to your gospel doctrine class, learn all you can. There's something like 65 different Come Follow Me <laughs> podcasts that are out there now, so you can. Pick your favorite one of those. But if you want to go deeper, if you want to learn more about the Book of Mormon than you ever have before, um, something that's going to energize your study of the Book of Mormon like like never before, then we invite you to come and, and be a part of our podcast. All right, so folks, so let's strap in for the most in-depth and exciting new research that will engage and, and, and energize your study of the Book of Mormon this year like never before. We're going to explore some incredible new evidences that support the truthfulness of the Book of Mormon. For example... Uh, what was the real translation process? Did Joseph Smith use a rock and a hat or did he use a Urim and Thummim? Which direction did God take Lehi when he went on his ocean voyage? Uh, is there any evidence for written Hebrew language in the Americas? What about horses and elephants? <laughs> you keep hearing about that one, right? Well, what about weather and climate and the snow mentioned in the text and plants and animals like grapes and wheat and barley and sheep and wolves that are all mentioned in the Book of Mormon? What evidence do we have for all of these claims? Well, so let me tell you about what we're going to be doing going forward. So we're going to be interviewing the top thought leaders and experts like Wayne May on Book of Mormon archaeology and Hannah Stoddard and Jonathan Neville on church history, Dean Sessions and Russ Barlow on science and geological evidences and, Ru and Ryan Nelson and others on, ge on the geography. Uh, even people like Michael Rush and Morgan Philpott and the Pickerings on Last Day's Timelines and many more involving every subject that you can think of and, and some you may not have thought of on the Book of Mormon. So don't forget to subscribe now below so you'll know when the videos are released. But for now, simply click on the playlist called Come Follow Me, Book of Mormon, and watch the first two, ep two episodes, the two videos called the intro and the, in and the lesson number 1.1. Again, this is Rod Meldrum, the Book of Mormon Evidence Guy, where we are faithfully exploring relevant LDS topics of our time. Thanks.